It's like somebody opens a restaurant and they serve alcohol yeah. versus a Christian opens a brewery. What is God's heart on this topic? Yeah. That is what you're after. We know people like this. That's what's funny about this. How does someone get the truth of the gospel mm -hmm. even if they are supporting things that are completely opposite of the gospel? Bruce Lawn. Babylon B dropped a video called Introducing Christianity Light. This reminds me of the video from This Is Salvation. Okay. Yes. And I love it. I love these guys. I Hopefully, I could do something with an uh, interview with these guys at some point. Uh, I know they just had David Wood on, uh, and he, they were on David Wood's channel. All right, let's, let's check this out. You with the Bible. Me? Yeah, you. Are you tired of all that God stuff? Do you want Christianity to be easier, more exciting, and less demanding on your free time? Boy, do I. Then why don't you throw out that old lame Christianity classic and try the very new Christianity light? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, pause it. The transition. <laughs> the transition is amazing. The outfit. Yeah. Bro, everything. The everything the about this. The subtlety of the rainbow the, shirt. Oh my gosh. The subtlety <laughs> of the rainbow shirt and the rainbow background. That this is this is genius. Wow! This is totes bussin', yo. Christianity. <laughs> hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's totes bussin', yo. <laughs> the Stop. tote bag, bro. This is amazing. This is hilarious. All the same terms as Christianity classic, but without all that unwanted salvation from your sins and <laughs> wrath of God stuff. Now you can be a Christian without everyone thinking you're a total square. The B-roll. The B-roll, that's Zach Sparazzo B-roll, though. Yeah, that's the... That's the B-roll we'd get an email for. <laughs> we get an email for this exact B-roll, like... I can see her I can below see, her chin. I could see her figure, and <laughs> it might cause someone somewhere, sometime to possibly stumble. Can you guys fix it, please? I can you totally know, see that. I used to think you were total square. Turns out, you're not like one of those Christians who follows the Bible, bro. <laughs> you're pretty cool. He got the blunt and hold on, hold on, he got the joint and he the cigar. He got the joint and the cigar. <laughs> You're not one of those Christians that follows the Bible. Yeah, you know one of those. Bro, that's Bro. that's amazing. All up in the club. Hey! I'm drinking alcohol. alcohol. I'm saying swear words. All right. <laughs> pro choice. Yo, what's up, guys? Hey. Wait, wait, he said pro choice. And then what did he, he say? He said pro choice? <laughs> hold on, you got to pull that back. Choice. Yo, <laughs> guys? Oh, hey, Did he say right? bro choice or pro choice? I think he said pro choice. Wow. Yeah, bro. Where are the girls at? <laughs> you like where the alcohol? Alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> and best of all, with Christianity Light, you don't even have to go to church. Now I can have Christianity and my sin too. Oh my God! Thanks, gosh, Christianity bro. Light. I'm watching Game of Thrones. And I ain't watching it on VidAngel. Christianity <laughs> Light has been endorsed by Joel Osteen, Rob Bell, Jen Hatmaker, Rachel Hollis, Yo! <laughs> Richard Rohr, and Satan. It's oh the only God. version of Guys, I want to make sure that you guys know about our upcoming podcast launch, October 20th. The tickets for that are pinned up at $7. And I would like to give you guys an exclusive preview. No one's seen these little previews of these conversations of some of the guests we've had, but I want to give you guys an exclusive preview so that you guys can get an idea of what to expect. I've always thought it was nasty to not put in two weeks. Mm -hmm. I quit that day. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even like, wasn't even in the mood to like sleep with these girls, but I felt like I had to. How come none of these personalities are ever doing anything benevolent? <laughs> so I think that there could be a spiritual, maybe potential demonic Got component it. that's in there that we haven't explored. The fact that I was single until I was 40 and yeah. I knew I was never going to plan a church being yep. a single guy. I wasn't going to, I wasn't about to set myself up. You know, and then I remember one time my uh, financial advisor at the time, she was like, hey, did you know you're spending more than you're making like every month? And I was like, oh, for real? And then I'm supposed to, you know, perform yeah. this uh, production assistant. It's like, hey, here's a Viagra. Take it if you want to take it. Whoa. Don't if you don't. It's in your hand. It's yours. I teamed up with Moment for the exclusive live premiere of the anticipated Bless 
God podcast. And the tickets for that are only $7. When you get to the main page, click the yellow get ticket button, scroll down to the add-ons and throw in your ticket to the after party as well as some exclusive merchandise. And I will see you there. It's oh the only God. version of Christianity with none of the guilt and judgment, oh but my with gosh. the same great spiritual feelings. Side effects may include sharp increase in sin, a hole in your heart you can't seem to fill, demon worship, earth worship, self worship. Hold on, hold on, hold on, pause those. <laughs> Side effects may include what? Let's see. Natural feelings. Side effects may include a sharp increase in sin, a hole in your heart. Hold on, stop, 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 stop. Sharp increase in sin, a hole in your heart you can't seem, seem to, to fill. Demon worship, earth worship, self worship. Worship, self worship, diarrhea, trust in the Enneagram, drug use, supporting the murder trust of Trust in the Enneagram! <laughs> you guys think I'm stupid. I'm not stupid, guys. I, I know this. Drug shit. use, supporting the murder. Whoa! Whoa. Deconstructing your faith, deconversion. Deconstructing your faith, deconversion, posting a black square on IG, eventual atheism. Eventually. Posting a black square on IG. <laughs> no. Gosh, man. Yo, they seem to poke at all sides everybody, when, when doing. Everybody. Anxiety, nihilism, judgment. Anxiety, nihilism, judgment, Buddhism, eternal suffering, severe injury, and second death. Christianity Light is not responsible for those who suffer everlasting damnation. Check with your pastor to see if Christianity Light is right for you. That, was, that great. was great. Those guys have a great sense of humor. They're amazing. Their their take on Kanye and like conservatives discovering Kanye. Oh, I posted yeah, yeah, yeah. that, bro. <laughs> so accurate. It's so accurate. And so many people DM me and was like, "Bro, this was my mom this morning." Like, yes. Like pulling up Kanye songs because she saw him on Fox News, bro. She's Come like, "I just want to support black owned businesses." <laughs> Your mom, your 65 year old white mom starts caring about black owned businesses. This yay fella's pretty good. Yeah, no, satire is definitely a fantastic, fantastic way to get a message out. Um, and you know what's funny about this what? is we know people like this. Yeah. That's what's funny about this. All of a sudden, smoking weed, drinking alcohol, right? Being, <laughs> being pro choice. Like all these things, all of a sudden become totally permissible and okay. But wait, there's more Christianity. Like plus, you got you get prosperity, hyper grace, and be God all in one package. Yes, um, I know a someone that is newer to the faith, mm -hmm. and it was super liberal, is super liberal, mm -hmm. and they ha they they think that they are being persecuted mm -hmm. as a Christian mm. because the Christians are kind of informing them that some of these views like abortion mm -hmm. are probably not an orthodox christian view <laughs> yeah yeah it's one thing to like have a a view where you are uh, on the fence you're... on the fence from a political standpoint yes right it's another thing to think that the termination of babies is is permissible yeah and this person's like an activist for it because whoa because they've had so much pushback they're like i will continue to stand for women's rights and Yuck. you can't and, they're, and like, i don't go to church anymore i'm just and they're like a year two year christian so there's like this weird balance yes. of like how does someone get the truth of the gospel mm -hmm. even if they are supporting things that are completely opposite of the gospel yes it's a difference between saying like i may think it's permissible to vote for a candidate that may want to legalize cannabis yes versus i am going to actively open a dispensary and sell cannabis as a christian yes right like yeah, those yeah, are yeah. two very different positions right like somebody could be well within their uh you know whatever view of like hey like i you know i don't smoke i think it's bad yeah. but like i understand that logic though i i don't well with cannabis i do agree with it because i like i think that yeah. should be legalized and, and decriminalized um because that's kind of more like my libertarian bent but for a christian to jump out the window and be like i'm going to now open a dispensary and sell recreational cannabis to yes. people like that's kind of wild yeah and so do you think it's like at some point they will come around do you think or they'll De if they're they'll engaged, deconvert because no, because I don't, of this problem. That's is so not big why they'll. Them. That's not why they'll deconvert. They'll convert. They'll mm. deconvert for other reasons. Mm. Like it's not this. If you're, if you're legitimately con consumed with discovering whatever the truth of Jesus is and being in alignment with mm. him, I'm not saying you have to become a conservative or Republican yeah, yeah, or totally. MAGA. But what is God's heart on this topic? Yeah. You're genuinely with pro life. You're genuinely that is what you're after. I think it is very difficult for someone, again, not to say um, you can't be Christian Democrat or whatever, right? Because yeah, yeah. there's actually a lot, this is the hilarious part about that statement, there's a lot of 
Democrats that voted to limit abortion and caught a lot of flack for it. CNN yes. wrote an article that was like, Democrats that voted pro-life yeah, yeah, in, yeah. The, in the house. Watch out for them. I get, yeah, ma- yeah. <laughs> I get mail to, to my house and yeah. it's like, this person, don't mm-hmm. vote for this person. They want to limit abortion. Yes. And I was like, you guys are just shooting your shot with every house in the, in the county. Yeah. Yeah, so I think I say all that to say yes. I think there's a big difference between um, that and like I'm going to jump out the window and actively advocate for the determination or the the right for people to terminate. So that's babies. what I'm saying. Yeah. Is it like a person that is like that? What do you think it takes for them to come around? Is it is it like? And it seems like to be in that space, you have to get saved and then refuse to really study scripture. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think I think I think they have to be humble enough. Is it to, one of those to, things that's like a little bit of Jesus is better than no Jesus? Ooh, that's a great question. That's a good question. Especially if I they're if know. they're taking to platforms and like they're on TikTok. Yeah, I, the funny part is I know who you're talking about. Yeah, no. <laughs> 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 I know exactly who you're talking about. That person's slant is so is so like the church is persecuting me. Yeah. And it's church like ain't it, it's like, no, you don't understand. You're not the cool Christian. Yeah. You're not Christianity light. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I think we should all be consumed with being conformed to God's ways of doing things. Yeah. And when we aren't, and we're just consumed with our cultural paradigm or our political leaning, I think it's very, it's very dangerous. Yes. And I think it requires a degree of humility and to know that, like, yeah, like, I'm not accurate in this yes you know i don't know that, that, that's my opinion yeah. shout out to von sanders ministry he says members of another church in town opened a cigar bar huh with alcohol with alcohol Whoa. the pastor prayed at the grand opening do they have a limit to how much alcohol I you can buy i guarantee you these guys are reformed oh one thousand i guarantee you as a calvinist <laughs> they're like, look i just don't believe <laughs> we are chosen therefore we can do no wrong you know election says that uh, your <laughs> salvation's secure no matter what <laughs> This is like where Reformed theology goes Some wrong. Some people are chosen to be alcoholics, and they <laughs> went to the bar. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I can't control those people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Like, yeah, there's yeah. A very different things. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. those are very, very different things. Like, you have a restaurant that happens to serve alcohol versus, like, I'm opening a bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I what? specifically sell alcohol. I ju- primarily sell alcohol. In larger amounts. Yeah. And it, it says that Simeon blessed God. God.